Hi, my name's Lee. Welcome to my camp kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking over a campfire and we're going to be making a classic dish called Lancashire Hot Pot. It's a classic for a reason. It's really delicious and it's perfect for camping. This is another old recipe. I love old recipes because it takes us back to the original dish, how it was before it was altered. So let's start making it. Apart from being really easy, the Lancashire Hot Pot doesn't require many ingredients. So we just need some potatoes and then some onions and some salt and pepper, about 200 grams of mushrooms, some butter and some lamb. I'm using lamb neck chop because I feel if you use lamb with bone in you get much more flavour. And that's it. So let's start cooking. The original recipe did call for some lamb kidneys but I'm not a fan of kidneys. So the first thing we might do is just peel the potatoes and I'll just put them in a bowl of water to keep from going brown while I peel the rest of them. Next thing I do is slice my onions. So I've got about a pound of onions here, so four medium onions. So the ratio generally is half the amount of onions as potatoes, so double the amount of volume in potatoes as onions. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. So now I'm just going to slice them into rings. So that's the onions done. Now I'll get the mushrooms. And with the mushrooms, I'm just going to slice them as well. So the mushrooms and onions are done. Try to keep them a bit separate because we're going to be adding them in layers. Now I'll have a look at the meat. So I got these from the butcher and they're lamb neck chops and they don't look too fatty. If your chops are really fatty, just cut some of the fat off. Actually, these are great. And with the potatoes, we want to slice them quite thin, not paper thin, but about that size. I'll put them back into the bowl that had the water in it. Now comes the fun part. So with your cast iron pot, after you finish washing it, always put a thin layer of oil on it. We'll stop it from rusting. And what we want to do now is get some lovely butter and generously rub the base and the sides with butter. So we want to really grease this well, like so. So what we want to do is spread about a third of the potato slices evenly on the bottom of the casserole, or in this case, the cast iron pot, like so. Now we want to put half of the lamb chops on top and squash them down. Oh, maybe I will have enough room in this pot. Now sprinkle with salt and pepper over the lamb chops. That's pepper and about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to put half the onions over it and half the mushrooms. And then another layer of potatoes. Another layer of chops. As long as I can fit the lid on, as it cooks it will reduce down. Some more salt and pepper over the chops, so another half a teaspoon of salt or so. This is the only salt we're adding to the dish because we're not using stock. And I know potatoes love salt, so I'm a little bit more generous with the salt. <laughs> and pepper. And then the onions and the mushrooms. Am I going to make it? <laughs> and the last lot of potatoes. The last third of potatoes. Now we pour a little bit of water on, about a couple of cups of water. And then we just dot some butter over the top. Now this is really full. <laughs> so the water, you should be able to see the water. It should almost come up to the top of the pot. As you can see, I'm being quite generous with the butter. Now that's the lid. But what I like to do is put a sheet of aluminium foil over it. As tightly as I can. 
as a double layer of protection that the coals won't get into the food. Okay, so don't do what I did and don't make the pot so full, <laughs> but it should work. I can't even fit another grinding of salt in that pot. <laughs> oh, it's lovely and heavy as well. Right, time to go on the fire. So the fire's been going for about two hours and we've got some really nice embers down the bottom that we'll use to put the Lancashire hot pot on. So what we're trying to do is replicate an oven. So the coals is what we're after, these lovely hot coals. So I'll make sure there's some on the bottom. So now I put my very full cast iron pan on the hot embers. Put the lid on. Put a few hot coals on top. I'm going to leave it for about an hour and come back and check it in an hour's time to see how it's going. Okay, so it's been an hour. I've just lifted it out of the fire. I'm going to take the lid off and have a little looky. Just get all the hot coals off the top. Now it's a little bit overboard, but I've got a, a knife to check. Oh, the meat's tender. The potatoes are tender. I may have had that on two hot coals, but it's not burnt. but I just might put a little bit more liquid in it and put it back on the coals just for a little bit. That smells so good. So I put a little bit more water in. So I won't bother putting coals on top because it is tender already, but that's only been an hour. <laughs> Maybe I had too many coals there, but still it didn't burn and it smells so good. So I had to sack the cameraman because he did a terrible job at filming the final stages. But basically I left the hot pot and the embers for another 20 minutes. I took it out and I sprinkled it with fresh parsley and served it with corn on the cob that I'd also cooked on the fire. I'm happy to say it was really delicious. It was so tender we ate it with butter knives. The cameraman said it was the best lamb he's ever eaten. Next time I'll cook it with fewer embers. I'll put the recipe in the description. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.